Hello and welcome to Tuesday's Tips. Today's tip will be a little longer than usual because many of you have emailed Navigate to ask about the new HUD rule and notice about MORs. This MOR scheduling rule becomes effective on September the 26th, 2022. The rule and notice apply to properties covered under project-based Section 8 housing assistance payments the HAP contracts for the following programs. The first one, new construction, substantial rehabilitation. New construction or substantial rehabilitation financed by state housing agencies. New construction financed under Section 515 of the Housing Act of 1949. Those are the Section 8 515 properties. Loan Management Set-Aside Program, Disposition of HUD-Owned Projects, and last but not least, Section 2028. This rule uses a risk rating system. The risk rating system is based on several factors, including but not limited to the MOR score, the REACT score, and the vacancy rate. You can read more about these and additional information in the final rule. I suggest that you read the final rule. The HUD risk classifications to be assigned are not trouble, potentially troubled, or trouble. Section 8 properties with a risk classification of potentially troubled or trouble will continue to participate and have annual management and occupancy reviews. The scheduling changes only apply to properties with a risk classification of not troubled. If a property's risk classification is not troubled and if the score on the MOR conducted on or after the effective date of 9-26-2022 is unsatisfactory, the next MOR will be conducted within 12 months. Likewise, if the score on the MOR conducted on or after the effective date is below average, the next MOR will be conducted within 12 months. If the score on the MOR conducted on or after the effective date is satisfactory, the next MOR will be conducted within 24 months. If the score on the MOR conducted on or after the effective date is above average, the next MOR will be conducted within 36 months. HUD has also clarified that reviewers must review the residence file for each sample file going back to the previous MOR. So if the last MOR was three years ago, the file selected will be reviewed for compliance for the current and the three-year period between MORs. Also note, and let me say, that as contract administrators, we're glad for this clarification, that HUD has implemented a different schedule when a new owner takes over a property. These properties will be inspected within six months of a change in ownership, regardless to the most recent MOR score. Thanks for your time and tuning in today, and we'll see you next week for another Tuesday Tip.